Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Boxer Gaming and Tech It. So, let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. Uh, so, I was thinking about how to do the tree farm and I sort of came back on my idea earlier. Uh, I'm not going to do... Um, I'm not going to do it with redstone. Oh, red power. I'm gonna do it with computer craft. So, let's get into computer craft and... Wow, did that again? What happened to my server? It's like it's not saving anything. That's weird. Very strange. Very strange. Anyways. So, we need to build a computer first. So, computer. Let me turn this off again. Uh, computer. There we go. So we need stone, redstone, and glass pane. How do we make glass pane again? <laughs> uh, was it like that? Oh yeah, there we go. So glass pane, some redstone, I think it's like that, and some stone. Nope. There we go, computer. Uh, let's put our computer, I don't know, maybe, hmm. Hmm. Just here. Point. Yeah. Craft OS 1.3. <sighs> so, the first thing you want to do is type help. <laughs> That'll <laughs> give you some stuff to do. Uh, so, there's some programs you can do, uh, which is pretty handy. Uh, but that's not what we want to do for now. Let's also make a disk drive. Now, again, I've never done this before, so we're going to go on, a, on this to get it. So, we need to make a disk drive. Now, I believe it's this one. So, we need two redstone and some stone. Okay. It's easy. Oh, what am I doing? God. Doink, doink. A disk drive. Now, I'm not sure if they need to be connected like all the way, but... Oh. Oh. Why not? Cool. Now, we need to have a floppy disk. Uh, or a boot disk. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. But let's make a floppy disk, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? This will do for now. Let's... Get a turtle. Now, I should have a turtle still. Turtle. Nope. Nope. Come on. Oh wait, they're outside. I know, I know where they are. Uh, how's the ferry going? Not at all. Okay. Uh, there we go. Turtle. Yoink. Did I pick the turtle up yet? So. I'll show you some basic commands. And then next episode we'll actually put it on a disc so we can reuse it. Um, but for now... Let's see. Let's see. Let's plonk it down here. Let's also go and sleep because this rain. Horror of the rain. <sighs> okay. There we go. Nice. So, turtle. Uh, and I'll just show you how to do the basic, basic programming here. Uh, again, I don't know much about it myself, so if I'm messing it up, let me know. Uh, so the first thing we can do is uh, type edit, and then the name of the program you want to make. So, for example, cut tree. Now you get to this thingy, and you can type anything here. So, let's start and uh, with a few basic commands. So one of them is turtle.detect. Uh, and this will check if there's anything in front of it. So if you know programming, this will return a boolean. Now, boolean is either true or false. So if there's something in, in front of it, it'll return true. If something is um, not in front of it, it'll, it'll say false. Okay. So, if turtle.detect is this true, then... Uh, then, I don't know, 
Then, uh, then, what should we do? I don't want to have it break the block. Actually, yeah, why not? Then, turtle the dig. And this will make it um, grab the block in front of it. And then we say end. Control, save, control, exit. Now, we made the program called cut tree. So when we, when we run that, it breaks the tree. There we go. And there's now a wood in there. Pretty nice, isn't it? So that's sort of the very, very, very basic, basic thing. <laughs> so, uh, let's do something else. Let's uh, let's break it. Oink. And let's put it... Uh, actually, you know what we'll do is we'll, we'll remake this tree. <laughs> now, I believe that this doesn't work. So if we, once you break the turtle, it doesn't work anymore. So you can do this with disks, or you can save it as a file in your computer, uh, and then have that as a program, and that will work much better. So that's what I'll do eventually, but I might put that up for download or something, so you guys can sort of see what I did. Uh, but it's sort of a hard thing to pull on video, you know? So anyways, let's remake that and go a bit further, shall we? So, first of all, oh, we want to say local height is zero. Because we want this to be, you know, we want the turtle to move up and down. But we also want him to know where to come back to. So, this will be our, our basic starting height is zero. Then, <clears throat> we want the turtle to keep moving up until it doesn't find anything in front of him. Because that would mean that the um, tree is done. Because if the tree is is you know if we're too high so we're above the tree or where the tree, tree used to be then there will be nothing in front of it so then we know we're done the tree is successfully chopped <laughs> so while uh, and this is the same as if uh, except for it keeps doing it whilst a certain thing is true so whilst turtle detect is this true do so while the turtle detects something in front of it do the following now what does it need to do? It needs to dig the block in front of it, like that. After that, it needs to check if there's anything on top of it, because it needs to move up. So if there is something on top of it, and the way we do that is say if turtle dot detect up, is this true, then, so if there's anything on top of it, then we want the turtle to break that. So dig up. So, what do we have so far? So, this keeps running in a while, in a while loop, you call it. It'll dig in front of it, and then it'll check, is there anything above me? Yes. Then we dig up. So, we break the block above us. After we break the block on, uh, above us, we do want to end. So, this end is for the if. So, if there was nothing in front of us, uh, sorry, on top of the turtle, it does nothing. If there is something on top of the turtle, it'll break that block. So after that's done, we know for certain that the block above the turtle is empty. So what we do then is turtle.up. And this will move the turtle up one. Yep. Sounds good? Good. So then we say height is height plus one. So once it moves up one, the height will be at one. Once it moves up again, it'll be at two. <sighs> so... <laughs> end we end a while so let's see how this does control save control exit cut tree done because there's nothing in front of it anymore not directly anyways so it stops and that's the whole program pretty easy isn't it I thought so I thought so. Now, uh, because we didn't make this, I'll just have to say turtle down. Oi, down. Uh, move. MV. Uh, God, how do, how do uh, <laughs> I don't know how to do it in, in, in directly. I just know how to do it. Uh, okay, let's see. Programs. Hmm. Go down 
four. Is that enough? No, 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 no. Go down three. There we go. It's at the bottom now. Uh, so we'll just take the wood out of his inventory and place it in front of him again. And what we'll also do is we'll put a block here. Just to see if it breaks it. Yeah? Cool. Now, let's go edit, cut, tree. That's our program. Because we haven't destroyed the turtle, so it's still in here. <laughs> now, after the end, we want to have that repeat itself. Now, afterwards... Uh, so the repeat is a bit different. It's... Uh, how do how would you s explain it? In the older computer languages, uh, program language, there's something called do until or something like that. Uh, they all have different sort of ways of saying that. Um, but this is pretty much the same as a while. But the while loop, it has its... Um, it has its... Um, what do you call it? it? It's check is at the top. So it checks if turtle.detect is true, then do something. Whilst this one does something first, and then it checks. So I'll show you how that works. So repeat. So what do we want to do? We want to have the turtle move down all the way to ground level. So that's very easy. We can say if height is greater than zero, because we started at zero. So anytime it moves up, it, it'll be one higher. So if it's higher than zero, uh, then we want the turtle to go down. Now, this can be done a little bit easy, but hmm, it's. I'll I'll just do it fully. Okay. So if turtle dot down. This is false, then, so if it's not moving down already, repeat sleep 0.25. So, so the way this works is because the moving down can take a while, it can actually, you know, it, it just really depends on the server. So if it's already moving down, we don't want it to move down again. We want to wait till it's done moving and then send it another uh, down command. So we're going to sleep until that's true and this will return true when the turtle is starting to move down so that's it we end it so this end is for the if turtle dot down and then we say that the height is one less yep yeah. With me so far? <laughs> I know it's confusing in this. I'll, I'll probably, yeah, I'll, I'll make this in a text file and then I'll show you guys. I'll link it in the, in the description in this video. So, height is height minus one. So anytime it moves down, the height is, is also gone down by one. So, then we end. Uh, so this end is for the if height is bigger than zero. And then we go on to the repeat part. So we want to repeat it until height is zero again. And once height is zero, we want it to stop for now. Just stop completely. Okay, so save, exit, cut, tree. Oh, oops, I messed it up. <laughs> uh, so if height is bigger than zero, this here, in, in, in Lua, in this, you also always need to have then after if. Uh, so as you can see here, for example, if turtle.down is this false, then do this. So that's the way it works. Uh, and I, I forget that because you don't do that anymore in, in sort of uh, Java and PHP and C Sharp, anything, you know, you don't do that. <laughs> so cut tree. Oh, end of file expected. I messed it up again. Edit, cut tree. Where did I mess up? Uh, uh, hmm. Huh. I'm actually not sure.
I'm trying to, to think what I did. <laughs> so repeat if if repeat until which is fine. There's an end for that if and then there's an another end and there's another end, that's it. Why does that not work? Why is that not work? Cut tree. At twenty, end of file expected. Hmm. Really? Oh god. This is horrible. <laughs> uh, I've never had this before. Well, at least not that I couldn't instantly figure out what it was. So, let's see. Wild turtle to detect is true. So, while the turtle is detecting in front of it, dig up. If there's anything on top of it, then... Yeah, then dig up. Then end it. Then move the turtle up. Then height is height plus one, which is correct. Then we end that one. We repeat. Then we say if height is bigger than zero, then... If turtle dot... Well, actually, the only difference, because I've done this before, is that I had this. But that's... Ah! Get the... Fit the ah. Sleep. <laughs> God. Always happens when you're programming. Always happens. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's have a look at our little turtle. Okay. So it does save where you are. So that's kind of cool. So save, exit, cut, tree. Now that shouldn't have made a difference. Nope. Nope. That did not make a difference in any way. And... So if height is bigger than zero, then... If turtle dot down, this is false. Then repeat sleep until turtle dot down, this is true. And height is height minus one. And until height is zero, and it's correct. This is correct, I think. Unless I'm messing it up so badly, which is completely expected. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's remove this and see if I messed that part up. So the way I do this usually is I'll put in a text file, uh, which works much better. So that works. Uh, so I messed something else up. But as you can see, it, it broke the dirt block, which is pretty good. So go down 10. It's not going to go down into the ground, so that's fine. Um, hmm. And the other thing we can do is, let's do it a little bit different. So let's make another one, cut forest. So, oh wait, cut, tree, repeat. <laughs> so, while, uh, one is one, because we wanted to keep going forever. Now you can do this differently, but this is just easy for me. Do, shell.run. Uh, was it cut tree shell dot run go down 10 we'll just do 10 for now end now that should work maybe cut tree repeat no such program oh god I'm breaking it help <laughs> help uh. oh wow okay never mind uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make the file and then in the next video when we make it, I'll actually link the file. So not in this video, uh, sorry for that. <laughs> uh, but I have to see what I need to do here. So yeah, to get started, build yourself a computer, a disk drive where you can uh, save programs to. Um, I would still recommend probably doing it in a text file. But if you want to do it all in game, definitely get a disk drive and stuff. That helps a lot. Uh, now, apart from that, you can also get a wireless modem and stuff. So, uh, where is it? There, wireless modem. And you can also get a wireless turtle. Uh, so that the turtle can talk to the computer and the computer can give it instructions uh, wirelessly, which is pretty cool. And there's also I.O. So you can open doors with it and close doors with it and all that good stuff, which I'll show you eventually. You know, I might make uh, my massive doors. 
Yeah, I might make my massive doors in, into a computer terminal, you know, with a password and stuff. Um, but not yet. Not yet. We'll do the tree farm first. Uh, I'll have it all working by, um, oh god, why is that still here? <laughs> yoink, yoink. I'll have it all working by next episode and I'll show you exactly how I did it, what I did. Um, and I'll put, uh, once again, I'll put the, um, the actual sort of small script or file in the description as well. Uh, and that way you can just copy paste it if you want. Now there's a lot of big computer craft programs out there already that will do everything for you. Uh, like I know there's a really good auto farm for trees and stuff, but I don't know. I'd rather make it myself. So yeah, we'll do that next time. Stay tuned and um, we'll get into uh, a little bit of Lua programming. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.